impossible. You, to, if he can't get this, the basic theory of um, the problem, then yeah, you're not going to have a rational solution. So there's no point in him saying anything, I value the worker, but I'm going to completely protect the fucking owner. I mean, what's the point? I mean, it's like, you can't say, I, I'm for the slave, but I'm not for freeing him. I mean, what the fuck is that? Yes, good night, Rammy. Good night, Rammy. Good night, Rammy. You already said good night, says Rammy. People complain that I don't say your name right. Why do you call him Remy? I don't know. That's just what I called him. I think it's because his name is. But whatever. Rammy. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Is they high in this room? No. Yeah, you're damn right. I mean, the rich poor equation is as bad as it hasn't been as bad as this <laughs> except in 1929. No surprise. Yeah, fake assets completely inflation assets. If they ever convert that shit, all that stock market money, if they ever attempt to convert that into a real asset, your dollar will be worth nothing. Are we really, I mean, it is funny. I mean, I'm also anti-religion, but there are these little kernels of wisdom in the old books, <laughs> you know, and it's this never a lender or borrower be. And it's the goddamn truth. It is the root of all evil is this idea of, of leasing, of owning, of expecting profit from surplus. Not that surplus retain its value, but that you're entitled to a profit. That if you put wheat in a silo, you're entitled to watch the silo grow. Oh, swans left. Anyway, um, I know she's got a headache and such, so forth, and whatnot. But she's still in the room, I guess. But yeah, she didn't leave. That's good. I think. Yeah, well, I mean, that's the basic truth of our economy now is that we have we have allowed these people to claim ownership to decades of future labor. You can't pay back your debt. It would take you a decades to pay back what you owe the federal government. The federal government has a claim on if you're a working person, you owe the federal government $200,000. Uh, how how long is it going to take you to pay that back? And especially when you're paying it back in a declining economy, because if we start paying our bills, the economy will shrink. So in a declining economy, more unemployment, you've got to pay back two hundred thousand dollars. You think that's going to happen? That the average working person is going to pay back two hundred thousand dollars? How long do you think it's going to take? Yeah, well, you don't really own your home. It's an illusion. It's, it's, you've still got the mortgage. The mortgage is held by the federal government, essentially. The money you owe the federal government is basically a, a mortgage that's been created on the value of your house. All the money you gained on the increase in the bubble in the housing market is all a lie. It's not real money. You didn't really gain anything.
Well, exactly. It's got to be reboot. There's got to be a, a, you know, as the Bible put it, whatever they called that, um, what do they call it, that holiday? They had a word for it. Um, fuck. But yeah, they got to just undo it all. got to just say, start over. Everybody gets 50 bucks and, you know, <laughs> do the game again. Yeah, well, the, the key is is that, first off, you don't allow the federal government to ever, ever borrow money. So it has to directly print it and create direct inflation, or it cannot. It just, you can't, yeah, you got to have a law that just says the federal government cannot borrow money. It's just idiotic. Um, but certainly, yeah, and you can't allow legacy wealth to be accrued. So you have to force people to earn power and control so they can't just inherit ownership they have to earn ownership I mean certainly above a certain minimum you can allow people to have a million bucks in inheritance or whatever and then this guy that's it no more you just can't allow legacy wealth to own the world Well, good. Hamlet's better than the Bible. Ugh. Yeah, Shakespeare was pretty smart. <laughs> so. Ooh, that horrible color. I have something in common. Nukes came into the room with that horrible color. Well, it's just whatever. It's just, it's just not a proper color. It shouldn't be in the color index. Fruit. Ah, that's even more preposterous color. This is a preposterous color. Yeah, we well, wouldn't know though. It's it's invisible, so it makes it less ugly. Oh, if girls could have a penis for a day, they would really have penis envy. I mean, they'd really they'd say, "Oh yeah, I wish I had that." Yeah, that's good junk. <laughs> yeah, right. Horrible hassle. Yeah, exactly. Such a burden. Keep, um, green oh, mumbly as ever, I see. Munch, 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 munch.
Yeah, I like the purpley colors. They're adequate. Alright, I have to get some coffee uh, and such. But then uh, if it's come back, we have to have some kind of real subject. Can't be wasting time talking about fucking colors. God damn it. Well, not god damn it. Say something else. Yeah, lavender. Lavender's not bad, yeah. About like that, whatever that is. Reddish purple. That magenta stuff. Yuck. Magenta. It's a faggoty word. Magenta. Magenta. What the fuck is that? Come on, people, we need conversation. Let's go. I can't be talking about these fucking colors. I have nerves, so I need something to distract me. Ah, the pirate man. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's... Uh, I remember when I used to do characters. That become so boring. What's up with Gary tonight? Oh, yeah, I missed the good news. Yeah, well, that was too much work. Um, but anyway, <laughs> yeah, you know, and it's why I haven't even that. I just, I guess, I just, uh, just the thought of reading the news will be so, so frustrating. You know, I really hate to go back there. Don't you have any fanboys who can do it for you? I don't know, apparently not. I don't know exactly how they can do it for me anyway. I mean, it still has to somehow get into my brain. Oh, there's math fails. Yes, it's all male. Yeah, I don't kind of go for that Freud crap. I mean, I don't think, you know. I think other um, people, peripheral people, have more impact on our, uh, whatever, sexual um, um, conditioning. <laughs> 